Well, Twin Cities based Famous Dave's has been in a free fall. Six CEOs over the last six years. But closing a bunch of money losing locations and then making some drastic changes <laughs> at a north suburban test restaurant appears to be paying off. This morning, to Russia eats part of the new menu and the newly redesigned Coon Rapids Famous Dave's. We wanted a wow factor. This is not what you'd expect in a famous Dave's. Forget the dark lodge cabin feel. Instead, light woods, bold modern signs, bright red upholstery, and no more blues music. Uh, the times have, have called for something a little more upbeat. Um, and so Dave curated the playlist that we play here. Um, of country music. Yep, that Dave, new chief operating officer Gio Concepcion, talks about famous Dave Anderson's influence a lot. Uh, this was a Dave Anderson special. Dave's cherry chicken recipe, his smoked turkey. So still barbecue, we're still smoking it, but lighter option. His fingerprints on both a menu and restaurant redesign. This has to be a sensory experience. We've got to have great food, that's table stakes. But we need to engage the other senses. What do you hear? What do you see? What do you feel? Uh, what do you smell? Most famous Daves are run by franchisees, but the company owns 15 locations. And that's why they're able to use this Coon Rapids spot as a laboratory. They quietly launched 23 new menu items in April. Very different. Very different. Sylvia Matsky Hill showed us the new barbecue bowls, one with pulled pork, the other brisket, new sides too. Can't go wrong with mac and cheese. Correct. We have um, Brussels sprouts, so Brussels sprouts are moving up the chain on, on trendy vegetables. When you went to finance school, you didn't know you'd be seasoning ribs, did you? No. Smells good. The cornerstone is still barbecue, the giant smoker cranking out award winning racks of ribs. That is delicious, huh? Right? Come on. Out of the smoker. But most of us aren't doing sit down barbecue. Barbecue every month. We need to offer things that people can have once a week. And they're bringing in some fun to the room, like this mini donut machine. This is uh, burnt butts. The pork counter to the popular burnt ends. So far, the changes seem to be working. Sales have been fantastic. So since the inception of the test, we're up 15%. Maple Grove is going to be the next door to get some of the elements of the redesign. They'll get more TVs, a more open bar, maybe some lighter feel, and then a lot of those menu tweaks. Uh, one thing they told me that was very interesting, because barbecue and Famous Dave's uh, travels well, yeah. it's yeah. their carryout business and their catering business actually have have been keeping the company going. Wow, really? It's the in-store, sit-down dining. Which is what all of this is for. You say menu tweaks, but 23 new items, that's a lot of new items. Yeah, and not all of them will stick. You know, maybe 10, maybe 12 will move okay. in, but uh, it's it's been really interesting for them that so much of it is about the feel of the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And Famous Dave, to be honest, a lot of the restaurants feel like an idea that was launched 30 years ago. As long as they don't mess with the food too much. Like, yeah. I understand you're trying to get some other customers in there, but if you screw up my ribs, we are going to have <laughs> the, issues. Yeah. Correct. The barbecue and will not be changed. Famous Dave yeah. should listen to Matt because he has been single handedly <laughs> keeping them alive. <laughs> we, we order quite a bit. <laughs>